So I've been trying to launch Fortnite since the past few hours and it didn't seem to work. I tried to reinstall it and it won't even let me do that. I finally found out why this was happening and I'm going to share it with you guys in this video. While researching this, I found out there are a few different reasons as to why you're not able to launch Fortnite using the Epic Games launcher, but it's still an extremely easy fix. And so by the end of this video, stay rest assured, you will have Fortnite up and running without even having to uninstall it. All right, guys, so the first thing that you want to do is click on these three dots right here, head over to manage and click on the folder icon right here. And then once you're here, head over to Fortnite game Go to binaries, select Win64, and then go over to this folder right here. It says, uh, it's called anti easy anti-cheat. You're gonna notice that when you click on it, it doesn't really do anything. So what you basically need to do is right click on it and then go over to show more options. And then you're gonna send a shortcut of this file to your desktop. Now head over to your desktop and just move this file back to the folder. Once you've done this, this is gonna maximize it. So once you've done this, go over to show more options once again, head over to properties. Now, you're just gonna rename this file and at the end, you're gonna type in repair. Once this is done, hit okay. And now when you try and open the file, it's gonna ask you if you wanna let this file make changes to, to your computer um, and you're gonna select yes. Now the last thing, go over to the Fortnite game folder once again, uh, head over to Win64, and then click on this file right here that ends with shipping, and select properties, go on to compatibility. Now what you wanna do is, you're gonna select uh, run this program on Windows 8, and you're gonna select the bottom two options right here, uh, disable uh, full screen optimizations, and the one right below it. So once this is done, hit apply, all right guys, so once this is done, all you have to do is just restart your PC. Once it's restarted, all you have to do is go onto the search bar and look for Epic Games, open file location, right click on Epic Games Launcher and run this as administrator. And then now when you try and launch Fortnite, it should run just as intended. If this doesn't work, the only other reason why you're not able to launch Fortnite is because of the IS0003 error. And this is actually a really easy fix as well. Just type in the Windows key plus R on your keyboard. Enter percentage local app data percentage in this box right here and press OK. Navigate to the Epic Games folder. Then go on to the save folder and delete the web cache folder from here. Once this is done, you're going to restart your PC and do the same thing that we did before, which is to search for Epic Games, open file location, right click and run as administrator and then launch fortnite from the epic games launcher and you should be good to go let me know in the comment section if this fixed your issue if it did make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel